En quoi Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And before we proceed to hear the testimony of these witness, Avant we will now issue our oral ruling on the request for the protective measure de made de by a witness through TCW944. The chamber grants the request for protective measures made by the witness through TCW944, which was made through WISU. Laquelle a été présentée par l'entremise de Detailed information on the address of the witness so not be broadcasted to the public. The image of the witness shall not be disclosed to the public. Du témoin ne sera pas In order to implement this protective measure, pour donner effet à ces mesures de protection. The image will be distorted during the hearing of the testimony of this witness. Au cours de la déposition du dit a recent témoin. decision will be issued in due course. Une décision motivée sera rendue en temps opportun. The AV unit is instructed to proceed with the facial distortion Veuillez of this witness during this hearing. Du témoin soit flouté durant sa déposition. President. Mr. Witness, what is your name? Monsieur le témoin, comment vous appelez-vous? Witness, my name is Srayton. Réponse, je m'appelle Srayton. President, what is le your président, date of birth? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Answer. Réponse. I was born in 1957. Je suis né en 1957. Question. Question. What is your current occupation? Quel est votre métier actuellement? Answer. Réponse. Currently, I'm a rice farmer. Actuellement, je suis cultivateur de riz. Question. Question. What are your parents' names? Comment s'appellent vos parents? My réponse. parents, my father is Toi Ngal and Mon my mother Toi is Toi Chim. Question. Question. What is your wife's name and how Comment many children do you have together? Answer. Réponse. My wife's Ma name is Long Won and Long Won we have five children. Et nous avons cinq enfants. President. Le président. The Grafje, could you deliver a document D125-129 to the witness Greffier and ask the witness to confirm the highlighted portion of this statement, whether it is a true and correct? Si les passages mis en évidence sont exacts. President, is the address mentioned in the document is uh, correct? Est-ce que l'adresse mentionnée dans ce document est exacte? Answer: uh, Yes, Réponse, uh, that is correct. Oui. President, uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Le président, merci, Monsieur le témoin. As reported by the graphie. To your best knowledge, Selon you do not have Greffe, any relatives or any family members, ancestors or descendants or de your in-laws who are recognized by the civil parties in this case. Is this information correct? Été admise 
en tant Answer, que partie yes, civile dans la présente affaire. Est-ce exact Réponse oui. Question, have you taken an oath? Question, avez-vous prêté serment Answer, yes, I have. Réponse oui. President, you are now informed of your rights and obligations as a witness before this court. Vos droits et obligations. As a witness to, en tant to the proceedings before this court, you may refuse to respond to any question or request for your comments that would incriminate yourself. That is your right against self-incrimination, meaning it's because of your response or comments that you may be Late to prosecution. Vous avez le as droit for the obligations, as a witness to the proceedings before this court, you must respond reste, to all the questions put to you by the bench or by any par of the parties, except where your response to such questions or your comments dans le cas de would incriminate précité. you, as I mentioned earlier, regarding your right against self-incrimination. Also, as a witness, you must tell the truth ailleurs, that you have known, have heard, have remembered, or have experienced, or entendu, observed vécu, personally, any events that are related to the questions put to you by any other parties on the bench. Avec les questions posées par les juges Mr. Witness, les do you understand your rights and obligations? Answer, yes, réponse. I do. Oui. Thank you. Le président. And Mr. Witness, Merci. have you testified témoin, before or have you been interviewed by the OCIJ? And if so, how many times and where le it happened? Des co d'instruction? Si oui, combien de fois Answer. et à quel endroit? Réponse. Through my recollection, I have testified si on two or three separate occasions, but I cannot fois. recall the date. Mais je ne sais plus à quelle date Question. And Question. can you recall where you testified? Où Answer. It happened Réponse. at my home. Chez moi. President, thank you. Le président. Merci. And before your appearance uh, before the chamber, Avant have you read or reviewed the written records of your uh, previous interviews that were conducted at your house in order to refresh your recollection? Pour, uh, raviver vos souvenirs? Answer, yes, Réponse. I have. Oui. Question and to your knowledge Question. and recollection, can you inform the chamber whether the statements that you have reviewed reflect, or whether the, the, the your statements, or whether they are consistent with your statements that you made with the investigators at your house? Answer: Yes. Réponse, oui. Question. Question. It's, it seems that now you have a, a duty a counsel assigned by Visu at your request. Have you taken any consultation with your UT counsel? L'unité d'appui aux témoins et experts à votre demande. Avez-vous consulté votre avocat? Yes, I have consulted with my UT counsel. Oui. President, uh, that is a good thing that you have uh, consulted with your duty council. And of course, from time to time, you may seek a consultation uh, with your duty council during your testimony if you think the question si vous uh, may que la question posée lead yourself to self-incrimination if you respond or make comment to that question. Vous à des the right to respond to the questions is yours. However, à vous 
si vous devez ou non you répondre à la question posée. Only to respond to the questions Cela étant, when you think that your vous ne devrez refuser would, uh, de répondre que lorsque vous estimerez que votre réponse vous exposerait à des poursuites. Secondly, in order to uh, clarify the, the matters, Par ailleurs, you are reminded that you must respond to all the questions posed to you by the parties or the bench. Répondre and à if toutes you les don't know the response or you don't know about si the events that you were asked, please réponse, say so. Si because when you say you don't know, that is also a response. Are you clear on that, Mr. Witness? Dire, je ne sais pas, c'est également une réponse. Answer, Avez-vous yes, bien compris? Yes, I understand it. Réponse, oui. President. Pursuant to Rule 91 bis of the internal rules, the co-prosecutors are given the floor first to put the questions to this witness. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, uh, Merci, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. I'm going to start with some questions Je vais tout uh, relating to the period from 1973 to 1976 when you were a, a district, district soldier in Tramcock District. Vous étiez un soldat du district de um, and in your OCIJ interview, D-125, uh, 129, at the start, you indicate that you became a Khmer Rouge soldier in late 1973 and that you fought Law Nol soldiers as part of Regiment 13. And my first question for you is whether you were involved in the combat with Law Nol forces when Ang Tassam uh, was captured by the Khmer Rouge. In 1973, I was a district soldier, and by late 1973, I moved into the sector army and uh, the, the so-called Khmerus uh, uh, command, Sous le commandement des Khmer and that was in uh, regiment 21, and I cannot recall which division uh, it was uh, under at the time. J'ai oublié de quelle division celui-ci relevait à l'époque. And that uh, what happened uh, during uh, 1973. Voilà ce qui s'est passé en 73. And in 1975, en 75, when the Khmer Rouge attacked Phnom Penh. I moved to Regiment 13 of Division 210, de la rather Division 3. Ou plutôt de la troisième division. Uh, thank you. Uh, before we get to um, April 1975, uh, do you remember uh, the anything in regards to the capture of Ang Tassam? Quel souvenir avez-vous le cas échéant de la prise d'Ang Tassam? I cannot recall that. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. Now in. Um, your first OCIJ statement, D-125-129, at Khmer ERN 00224788, English 00231673-74, and French 00231. 
four, five, seven, four through seven, five. You stated that you were in Takao provincial town on the 17th of April, 1975, prepared for combat, that the provincial town fell the following day, that is the 18th of April, and you then described what you saw at the time as follows, and I quote, I saw the Lon Nol soldiers raise white flags requesting to surrender. I saw, continuing later, I saw fully armed Khmer Rouge soldiers order the people to leave toward the west along National Highway 22 up until 5 p.m. when it became quiet. End of quote. My first question, follow-up question is, what was done with the Lan Nol soldiers who surrendered in Takao provincial town? The Lunar soldiers Réponse. who were leaving the Takai provincial town Les soldats de were sent le chef -lieu provincial de to the cooperative in Tramco district. À la coopérative du district de Tramcac. Were any of the Lano soldiers or officials, Parmi ces in particular high-ranking ones, arrested de during that period? Est-ce que des gens haut placés ont été arrêtés? I didn't know uh, about that. Réponse: Je n'en sais rien. Do you know a site that was called Office 204 that was located in Pre Kaduk in the northwest corner of the Tramcock district? Un endroit appelé Bureau 204 à Pre Kaduk dans le nord-ouest du district. No, I don't. Réponse, non. I'm going to Question. skip ahead in time for Nous just a moment here um, and refer you to uh, le temps. interview ici, E319.1.25 e uh, Mr. President, um, perhaps at this time um, for ease, uh, could I provide a copy to the witness and his counsel of all three of his OCIJ statements so that he has them uh, if he wishes to refer with your leave. Il pourra s'y référer si nécessaire. Yes, uh, you can do so. Je vous en prie. Now, um, the statement I'm referring to, uh, Mr. Witness, is in your third statement, which is E319.1.25. At answer number 13, where you stated, "Quote: After leaving Krang Tachan, I was sent to pray Kaduk and then to many other places, but all within the southwest zone." End of quote. Um, can you tell us? Uh, when you sent, were sent to pray Kaduk, were you assigned to an office called Office 204? And if not, what was it that you were assigned to do in pray Kaduk? When I was transferred from Kantachan, 
I actually de returned to my former division, j'ai regagné mon but I division. was not transferred to Pre-Kudut. In pré-Kudut. fact, I, was, uh, fait, I returned to my previous regiment and the uh, division 210. Are you saying Question. then that at no time donc, did you work in the area of Preykadut or work near an office called Kaduk, Office 204? À proximité d'un bureau appelé le bureau 204. I never worked Réponse, there. Je n'y ai jamais travaillé. I want to ask you uh, some questions, further questions about the J'ai events uh, immediately following 17 April 1975. Uh, we've heard a testimony in this trial uh, from a witness, La a uh, Kao Chandera. Kao Chandera. And in his uh, testimony, lequel, uh, OCIJ statement E3 a indiqué aux enquêteurs du bureau des coches d'instruction dans le English document E3-5153, ERN anglais 005-090-090, Khmer 00-172-044, Khmer 00-172-044, and French 00-205-095-090-090. Uh, this witness described Lequel, how evacuees uh, were gathered la façon dont les at a pagoda called Wat Champa in Tapem commune dans la commune de Tapem after 17 April 1975. And he estimated, and I quote, si citer, 70% of the incoming evacuees at the Wat Champa center were killed at Krang Tachan, Krabe Prey, Office 160, and Office 204, end of quote. Can you tell us whether evacuees or new people in Trampak district were gathered at Wat Champa following the 17th of April 1975, and what happened to them? Que leur est-il arrivé? After the uh, Phnom Penh took control of a uh, after the Khmer Rouge took control of Phnom Penh on the 17th April, I myself was not in a tram court district, avril, so I did not know what happened in that uh, district. Je ne savais donc pas ce qui s'y passait. When did you Question. return to Tramcock District after the 17th of April 75? When was it that you came back to 75. Tramcock? I did Réponse. not work and stayed in Tramco because I myself always was attached to Regiment 13 of Division 210. Where was Regiment 13 based? Where did you work? Where were you located when you were a soldier in Regiment 13? We did not have any one particular base Nous as we were constantly fixe. transferred to other locations. Transferred d'un endroit à l'autre. Are you able to give us any Question. A general description of where you were normally located in the period after 17 April 1975 for the remainder of that year and into 1976. From 1975, that is probably a month after, 
à compter de 1975, I soit environ un mois plus tard, j'ai été transféré au Phnom Rie, la montagne Rie, ensuite dans le district de Koh Andai, dans le district de Kiribati, où j'ai dû cultiver du riz. And there were various locations within that area that I, I did uh, rice Dans farming, région, but I cannot recall them all. Plusieurs endroits, mais je ne me souviens pas des noms de tous les endroits. Uh, I'm going Question. to now uh, turn to the period uh, that you worked at Krang Tachan. Um, but let me just follow up on your last question. Um, question uh, par rapport à votre was there any period réponse. prior to the time uh, that you were assigned to Krang Tachan where you were working in Tramkok district or uh, was the first time you were sent to Tramkok district when you received your assignment at Krang Tachan? Or was the first time you were sent to Tramkok district when you received your assignment at Krang No, I Réponse. did not. No. Okay, I first want to uh, cover with you Question. Uh, the time period uh, that you were at Krang Tachan. La période que vous avez In à Krang Tachan. your third OCIJ interview, E319.1.25, e at answer 3, You were asked question Voici when did you start demande. working in Krang Tachan? Krang Tachan and your response was quote, quote, in 1976 or 1977. In your other statements you had said it was 1977 when you were assigned to Krang Tachan uh, but also in a statement D232 D232 slash 93 at answer 3, à la réponse numéro 3, vous dites qu'il y avait 6 autres personnes dont vous étiez partie qui avaient été envoyées à Krang Tachan en même temps que vous. Et ce groupe comprenait un dénommé Sim et un dénommé Sohan. Pouvez-vous nous dire le six that you were assigned to Krang Tachan with. Were you all from the same unit? Veniez-vous tous les six de la même unité? Amongst the six of us, we were assigned to guard at Krang Tachan office. Nous avons tous les six été désignés pour monter la garde au bureau de Krang Tachan. And my question is, prior to the time you were assigned to Krang Tachan, were these other people part of the same unit as you prior to the time you came to Krang Tachan? Yes, we were in Réponse, the same oui, unit. Nous faisions partie de la même unité. Mr. President, at this time, uh, I would like the witness to look at two OCIJ statements. Sur deux a D40 slash 20, 20 and E319.1.33. These are statements of two Il other witnesses who well, I will not name, de deux autres témoins and I would ask the witness not to name. Je vais aussi uh, I want him to look at the uh, je vais aux initial pages of these statements la and tell us whether these two persons were part of the group si that went to Krang Tachan with him. So with your, with your leave, if I can provide avec le these témoin. statements, si vous and the witness and his counsel should understand, we do not want him to publicly read the names of these people. Le témoin et son avocat comprennent bien que nous voulons éviter de citer nommément, publiquement, les personnes en question. Le président, yes, uh, you can je vous en prie, allez-y, puisse l'audience, veuillez remettre ces documents au témoin.
So it's clear. My question for you, Mr. Witness, is to, uh, on the initial pages of these statements, uh, contain the names and identifying uh, information about these individuals. If you could look at uh, that information for both individuals, my question is whether these two persons were part of the group that was sent to Krang Tachan at the same time as you. Yes, Sang and Sim were from the same unit. Now, um, the first person uh, in D40 slash 20, referring to Khmer page 00165329, English 00433568, French 00524317. That person indicates uh, that he was sent to Krang Tachan during the rice harvest in 1976. The second person who you've identified as being assigned to Crank to Chan at the same time as you. And this is in E319.1.33 at answer 15. That person testified that he was assigned to be a guard at Crank to Chan in October or November 1976. Does this refresh your recollection that it was late 1976 and not 1977 when you were assigned to Krang Tachan. In late 1976, I was uh, transferred, but not through a Krang Tachan prison. It was through the Krang Tachan, but at the outer fence of Krang Tachan, which was about one kilometer from the main uh, compound itself. Uh, th thank you uh, for clarifying that, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, in regards to the function of Krang Tachan, you made the following statement in interview D125-129 and the page references are Khmer 00224789, English 00231674, and French 00234575, where you said the following, quote, Krang Tachan was a re-education office. I heard people talking to one another say that a re-education office was a site to kill people and that those people brought into the site could not live, meaning that they all died." End of quote. Can you tell us um, who, who it was that you heard describe what a re-education re office was? Answer. I heard from villagers saying that the uh, security center in Tramcock was the killing site at the time. Can you tell us during the time, the entire time that you worked at Krang Tachan, at the Krang Tachan Re-Education Center, were there any teachers there? Answer. 
Mark, witness. There was no réponse. teacher. Il n'y avait pas d'enseignant. Now, you have described, and you Récupération. made a reference to this, you've described in your OCIJ interviews uh, how you initially auditions. worked as an outside or external guard at Krang Tachan, but later were assigned to work inside the compound and to help type documents for the prison chairman. And uh, I want to first uh, ask you some questions about how prisoners arrived at Krang Tachan uh, during the entire time you were there. That is the period both that you were working outside the prison and the period you were working inside. Uh, in your interview, D125-129, at Khmer 00224789, English 00231671, and French 00 23 You describe how people who had been arrested were, and I quote, walked in with their arms tied tightly behind their backs, end of quote. Can you first tell us who it was that brought the arrested people to Krang Tachan with their arms tied tightly behind their back. Qui a mené les personnes à Krang Tachan avec les bras ligotés dans le dos? Answer. When those people were sent in, I don't know who made the arrest, but um, the commune, uh, the people from the commune and from um, uh, the commune who sent those people in. C'était eux qui envoyaient ces personnes. Are, are you saying uh, that it was commune militia Donc, who brought the prisoners? My question is specifically about who the people were uh, who brought them to the outside of Krang Tachan. Answer. They were not arrested by the commune militiamen. Uh, the prisoners were tied up and sent, but I don't know who made the arrest of those uh, prisoners. Let, let me uh, clarify again. I'm not asking you who arrested them. What I'm asking you is who were the people who brought them to Krang Tachan, who delivered the prisoners to the Krang Tachan area. Answer: Those who brought them in were the commune, uh, the the commune militiamen. Qui les amenait à Krang Tachan était la milice de la commune. Mr. Witness. Um, a book uh, that was Monsieur written by an individual named Meng Tri Yi, Meng Tri Yi um, that is in evidence in this case, and I'm referring to document E3-2120. E3-2120. Uh, this book uh, refers to interviews uh, that Meng Tri Yi conducted in December 2000 and October 2001 of a person who he identifies as, and I quote, Sok Chanta, a.k.a. Deutsch, former Tramcock District Reeducation Center typist cadre. My question to you is, uh, do you remember being interviewed about Krang Tachan in 2000 or 2001 uh, by a person named Meng Tri Yi? Respond, no, I don't remember. 
Have you ever used the name Sok Chanta as an alias? Déjà utilisé le nom Sok Chanta en tant que alias. Answer: No, I never use this name. Non. Let me uh, uh, read to you a short uh, excerpt uh, to see if that refreshes your recollection. Uh, in this book, E3 at 2120, uh, and the excerpt is at English 00416390. Uh, the, these excerpts have not been translated. The translations haven't been completed yet. Uh, so I will just read them into the record. We've made requests for the translations. Um, at this page, uh, the following statement is made. Uh, and it's attributed to the person who he interviewed uh, that he identifies as a typist from Krangtachan with the alias Deutsch and to a guard named Sang. These former cadres reported that its prisoner escorts rang a bell that hung from a mango tree just west of the center. Upon hearing the bell, the cadres came out to meet the prisoners and led them to cells inside. End of quote. Um, first, was there a bell outside the Krang Tachan comp compound that was rung by the militia when they arrived with prisoners? Answer, no, there was no bell. I'm now going to turn to some questions about the number of prisoners detained at Krang Tachan. In your interview, uh, D232-93, at answers 19 through answer 20, you gave the following testimony. Question. While being sent, were prisoners blindfolded? Answer, they were not blindfolded, but only their hands were tied. Each time when prisoners were tied and walked, there were about five to six of them who were tied and walked one after another. Question, how many prisoners were there to the max maximum? Answer, sometimes there were 20 people, sometimes there were three or four people. The first thing, end of quote, the first thing I wanted to clarify, when you referred to a maximum of 20 prisoners, to, to what were you referring? Were you referring to the most prisoners who would arrive on any day? Were you referring to the maximum capacity of the prison? What were you referring to when you referenced there being uh, sometimes 20 prisoners? Answer. My response saying that um, 20 people or 4 people, it based on a particular day that uh, the Je prisoner was sent uh, for that day. But it does not happen uh, every day. Selon les jours et que cela pas lieu tous les jours. So just to clarify, you, you were talking about the arrivals of prisoners, is that right? Answer, Réponse. yes. Oui. Uh, we've heard 
uh, testimony in this trial um, from a witness, a civil party, excuse me, a Sai Sen. Uh, he has described how there were originally two buildings for detention of prisoners, but that during the period of Democratic Kampuchea, sometime after 17 April 1975, an additional two buildings were built. And my first question for, for you is, uh, do you recall uh, that the number of buildings uh, at Krang Tachan that could be used for the detention of prisoners? And can you give us uh, an estimate of the capacity of each of those buildings? How many prisoners could be held in each detention building? Answer, the prisoners' building, there were two buildings in Krang Tachan. Each building could have about 50 to 60 prisoners. Let me just... Um, come back to this one once uh, and I'll, let me make the reference uh, this is the testimony of Sai Sen uh, at E1 slash 257.1 that is the trial transcript for the 5th of February 2015 at approximately 10 50, uh, 53 uh, he described how, because of the increased number of prisoners, they built two more buildings, which he described as being to the east of the compound. Does that refresh your recollection? Do you remember there being two additional buildings that were not inside the immediate uh, or the inside compound, but were built just outside it? Et qui aurait été construit juste à l'extérieur du site principal. Man, answer. Um, Réponse. I don't remember the number previously, but when I arrived, there was so, there were only two arrivée, buildings, one in uh, the west and another one uh, to the east. À et un autre à <coughs> One of the uh, uh, documents uh, in evidence this trial is a report uh, for the month of November 1977 uh, from the prison. And with your leave, Mr. President, I would like to provide this document to the witness and display it on the screen. It is document E3 slash 2109 at Khmer page 00068014, English 00276565, and French 00290272. With your leave, Mr. President, may I provide this to the witness and display it on the screen. The President, your request is granted. Um, Mr. Witness, I would direct you to the what is paragraph one of this document, and if we could show that part on the screen, uh, it is a report regarding uh, the prisoner numbers for the month of November 1977. It states that 75 new prisoners entered that month, that 92 prisoners were purged, six died of illness, and one, a lieutenant colonel, 
was removed to sector by Ankar, leaving a total of 85 prisoners as of the end of the month. My first question is, do you remember reports like this being prepared on a monthly basis? Answer. No, there was no uh, such report. Do you recognize the handwriting in this document? Reconnaissez-vous l'écriture dans ce document? Demande l'accusation. Yes, I uh, recognize. Oui. I, re I recall. Um, this handwriting was uh, done by Deutsch. And when you refer to Deutsch, who are you referring to? Respond. I refer to Deutsch, who was the deputy of the chief name Anne. Just so the record is clear, Mr. Witness, there were two cadres uh, at Krang Tachan uh, who had the alias or name Deutsch. There was yourself, and then there was also the person who you just identified as the deputy of the prison chief. Am I correct? Answer, Réponse. yes, you are correct. Oui, c'est exact. This um, report uh, states that one person, a lieutenant colonel, had been removed to colonel. sector by Ankar. Can you tell us what did it mean uh, for a prisoner to be removed to sector. Answer, I don't understand. Was there a security office for the sector in which Tramcock district was located? Answer, I don't know about that. Let me just follow up with one more question. Were you ever aware uh, at any time of prisoners being transferred from Krang Tachan to other prisons? Answer, yes. There were um, sending of the prisoner to other place, but I don't know uh, whether there, there were other prisons. I don't know what happened or pas, their destination. Prisons, de uh, how often were prisoners transferred to other sites? À fréquence, les prisonniers étaient-ils transférés vers d'autres sites? Answer, it was not very often when they were sent. It happened late 1978 and early 1979. And do you have any information as to where it was that these prisoners were sent in late 78 or early 79? le lieu vers lequel étaient envoyées ces personnes fin 78, début 79. Answer, I don't know their destination. Je ne savais pas où ils étaient envoyés.
I made uh, reference uh, a little while ago to the testimony of Accusation one of the civil parties uh, who we have heard, uh, a man named Sai Sen. Um, in your OCIJ statement, uh, D-125-129, at Khmer 00-22-47-47, Nine zero through nine one English zero zero two three one six seven five and French zero zero two three four five seven six. Uh, in that statement, you identified Sai Sen as one of the surviving prisoners from Prang to Chan. Uh, can you confirm? that Sai Sen was a prisoner at Krang Tachan during the entire time you worked there. Answer. Sai Sen was actually the former prisoner at Krang Tachan, but I don't know when he was sent to that uh, prison. Upon my arrival, I saw him was already there. So you've uh, just confirmed that Sai Sen was there when you arrived. Did he remain a prisoner at Krang Tachan during the time that you worked there? Uh, the President, um, please wait, Mr. Witness. Mr. Victor Coppe, you may proceed. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'm not sure I heard something different, I think, than uh, the prosecution. I heard the witness say that he was a former prisoner. Um, so, asking the question that like he was a prisoner is not reflecting the, the testimony. I heard him say that he was a former prisoner. And then he said he was there when I arrived at Krang Tachan. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that he's a prisoner. Let, let me clarify that. When you said that Sai Sen was at Krang Tachan when you arrived in late 1976, was he a prisoner? Answer. Upon my arrival in, in early... 1977, I saw Soi Sen in Krang Tachan prison, but he was uh, let out to work outside to do cooking in that prison. And when you say he was let out to, to cooking, was that during the daytime? And what did he do at nighttime? C'était pendant la journée. Qu'en était-il le soir? Answer. At night, he was uh, sent to detain in the prison. Il était mis en détention dans la prison. And did Mr. Sai Sen remain at Krang Tachan the entire time you were there? Answer. When I was working at Krang Tachan, for about one year, and Soi Sen was always there. I'd now like to turn to a, a different subject, um, the a subject of interrogations of prisoners at Krang Tachan. And in your OCIJ statement, D-125-129, at ERN Khmer 00-22-4790, English 00-23-1675, and French 
two, three, four, five, seven, six. You provided the following testimony, and I quote, I saw them take prisoners for beatings and interrogations every single day at the interrogation room approximately 50 meters from the building where I worked. I heard the prisoners' screams coming from the interrogation room. Can I start by having you describe for us where the interrogation room was located in the Krangtachan compound? Interrogation room was located right within the compound of Krangtachan prison. Mr. President, with your leave, uh, I'd like to provide to the witness uh, at this time uh, document D125 slash 220.37. That's D125 slash 220.37. And this is the OCIJ map or diagram of the Krangtachang compound. Uh, with your leave, I'd like to provide that to the witness and show it on the screen. J'aimerais faire remettre ce document au témoin et le faire projeter à l'écran avec votre autorisation. Yes, the chamber allows that. And Mr. Witness, if you could look at this diagram and if we can show it on the screen, uh, can you tell us, uh, and I direct you to the um, bottom half of the uh, compound map, there is a building that's identified as the interrogation house towards the south side of the compound. Uh, can you tell us, does this map accurately show the location of the interrogation house at Krang Tachan? When I was there, it was not located at the location shown on this sketch. Cet endroit n'était pas. Can you tell us where you believe it was located uh, in relation to where it is shown on this map? Était-elle par rapport à son emplacement tel qu'indiqué dans ce plan? I cannot recall it uh, exactly, Je ne souviens pas bien. but uh, to me, it was not at the location moi, as shown on this sketch. L'emplacement indiqué sur ce plan n'est pas exact. Question. Let me ask you a, try to uh, follow up on that. Um, do you remember there being a kitchen or dining hall for the guards that was located next to or nearby the interrogation room. De la salle d'interrogatoire ou bien juste à côté. Ma. Réponse. No. No. There was none. Was there a separate Question. dining hall for the guards, a separate place from where the prisoners ate? Aux gardes? Un réfectoire différent de celui des prisonniers. There was no Réponse. dining hall for Il avait prisoners. Pas de réfectoire pour les prisonniers. Okay. 
Let's, let me ask you a question. open question then. Where was it that the guards ate their meals in the prison compound? And where was it that the prisoners ate their meals? I brought the guard, and for the six of us in a unit, we ate separately from the uh, prisoners. And as for us, there was no set uh, dining area. Some days we ate here, and next day we ate there. Cela a changé d'un jour à l'autre. Let me be clear. I'm asking you about the period where you were located and working inside the prison compound, a period where you indicate you were helping to type documents. During that period, where was it that you would eat your meals? At that time, I was Réponse. having my meal within uh, my unit. Je prenais les repas avec mon unité. And question: Where did prisoners uh, eat meals? Où les prisonniers prenaient-ils leur repas? As for Réponse. prisoners, they had their meal in the detention building. Leur repas dans le bâtiment où ils étaient détenus. I want to make sure that I'm not Question. having a translation issue Je here. So instead of dining hall, I'm going to ask you Je about the kitchen, de kitchens de mais bien at des the cuisines. compound. Were there kitchens y at the Krangtachan compound, Dans and if so, where were they located? Et si oui, où étaient-elles situées? Yes, there was a Réponse. kitchen, but oui, il y avait it was cuisine, old, so they no, no longer use it by the time I vieille, arrived. Et quand je suis arrivé, elle n'était plus en service. And so where was it in the compound Question. that meals were cooked? Dans où -on les repas? It is uh, difficult Réponse. for me to, to respond to your questions because, uh, as I said earlier, uh, effet, cooking was done at various uh, locations. There was no, no fixed kitchen or dining de, hall or a set, uh, a set of uh, cooking uh, utensils. Fixe. And let me clarify that we, the GAT unit comprising of six, we hate our own cooking. Qui cuisinaient et mangeaient leur propre repas. Before I finish this, uh, this, uh, the subject of the Avant kitchens and, and, and where you ate meals, was, you said that you ate repas, together with your unit of six. Uh, during the time you were working inside the compound, Quand vous à was there a, de a building or a specific location where you and the other guards ate your meals? Où vous et les autres gardes preniez les repas. My Réponse. unit, that is the six of us, in terms of guarding the, the two buildings, one to the east and one to the west, Assist, three of us would guard each building. And as for mealtime, sometimes we went to eat at the east building, or sometimes at the west building. Let me move on to another uh, subject. Um, well, let me ask you. Uh, 
Le président interrompt. Interrompt. The time is, uh, appropriate for our Le moment lunch est break. venu d'observer la pause déjeuner. And, uh, before we break, the chamber would like to inform the prosecution and the political lawyers for the civil parties that you will have this entire afternoon to put the questions to this witness. The chamber also uh, ruled on the request for the protective measure as follows. Voici the chamber has granted protective measures for the witness through TCW944, including non-disclosure of his address and not making his image available to the public. Le fait que son image ne In covering this trial, the media are ordered not to publish any photographs or images of the witness, photo regardless of when they were taken. Témoin, it is now appropriate for a uh, lunch break. Du lieu où ces images ont été prise. Le président continue. As for today's proceedings, the chamber will adjourn uh, now and will resume on the uh, 23rd February 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. And Mr. Witness, the hearing of your testimony Monsieur is témoin, not yet concluded, and you are invited to return on the 23rd of February 2015, starting from 9 o'clock in the morning. And this also applies to the duty council. And uh, duty council, uh, Mr. Doc Paris, Maître you uh, Paris, can proceed. Je vous en prie. Doc Paris. L'avocat du témoin. Uh, Mr. President, Monsieur le président, as I have uh, notified the Rissou that Comme on Monday, the 23rd of February 2015, I am not available for the morning session, and I am only available for the afternoon of that day. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci. President, uh, thank you, Duty Council, for the information, Merci as we have not uh, received that information uh, previously, and uh, we will try to assign another Duty uh, Council during your unavailability on that morning. And as uh, we stated, uh, Mr. A uh, witness, please, uh, returned on the 23rd February 2015, and Comme you indiqué, may now leave the court to return to wherever you wish to or to your uh, place of residence. Le 23 février 2015. And this en information also applies to all the uh, parties to the case. Les autres parties sont également priées de se présenter and à l'audience le jour en question, le 23 février 2015. 
and car officer in collaboration with Visu, please make a necessary Alors, transportation arrangement for this Monsieur witness to return to his place of residence Wesu, and have him return to the court in order to continue his testimony on the 23rd of February 2015 before 9 o'clock in the morning. Security guards were instructed to take Nuji and Kyusen Pond to the detention facility and have them return to participate in the proceedings on 23rd February 2015 before 9 o'clock. The court is now adjourned.